What's up guys, Ronnie Cruz here with Ronnie's Reviews and this is the Raleigh Grand Pick of the Week. Well, welcome to Ronnie's Reviews, this is Ronnie Cruz. Today, we are going to talk about the King's Speech. My husband is, um, well, he's required to speak publicly. I have received <laughs> Perhaps he should change jobs. The King's Speech is directed by Tom Hooper and stars Colin Firth and Jeffrey Rush, along with a host of other amazing talent, including Dumbledore. So anyway, The King's Speech is a story of Prince Albert. Prince Albert. <laughs> And because of everything that's gone on in his life, he has these deep-seated personal issues. He's got a lot of baggage. I mean, his dad was Dumbledore. Um, and because of all the stuff that's going on and that has happened to him in the past, these deep-seated issues manifested themselves in the form of speech impediment. Now, I'm not going to make fun of that. I'm not going to make fun of that because that would be wrong. But the way he talked did remind me of the priest in Princess Bride. Marriage. Marriage is why we have all gathered here together. Except with a stutter. This was the early days of radio and film and, and it was a very important time for leaders and heads of states to use these mediums as a way to speak and reach out to the people. And obviously having a speech impediment makes that very difficult. So on top of having to deal with his personal issues and trying to get rid of this stammer, uh, he's got to deal with all this stuff being royalty and, and having to live up to that. So, you know, it's, 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 it's basically his struggle with all of this stuff that's going on. And yeah, so that's what it's all about. Basically, now, I had no idea what this movie was about going into it. And actually, I didn't know anything about Prince Albert's story and, and how he became king. So all of this stuff was very new and very fresh to me. I think for me, the beauty of this movie is the process, the growth for him, that, and, and what it took to overcome these, these hurdles in his life. And, and you know, you think that stuttering is not a big deal, but I edit the heck out of these videos. I stutter all the time. Now, I think the strength of this entire film is really just the interaction between Colin Firth and Jeffrey Rush. Anytime those two were on screen, it really was just a pleasure to watch. I mean, these, these two are just top-notch actors, and I'm, I'm really happy to see Jeffrey Rush in a fairly normal role. So th when these two share the screen, uh, it's such great dynamics going on. Uh, they're, they're really both at the top of their game, and it's really fun to watch. It's really fun to watch these two perform with each other. I don't think they could have picked better actors for this. Uh, across the board, the, the cast was chock full of great talent. I mean, like I said, Dumbledore played King Henry V. Henry. George V. You have Helen and Bonham Carter. You have uh, Derek Jacoby. Jacoby? 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 Jacoby. Derek Jacobini? Jacobini? Mugatu? Matt Damon? As far as the look of the film, I thought there was some great uh, art design. The costumes and the sets were really, really wonderful. The movie was very well composed. I mean, shot per shot, it was very well composed. So yeah, it was a good movie. It's definitely worth watching. For the performances alone, this movie is worth watching. And Colin Firth is an amazing actor, and, and he played the role very, very well. Like, the speech impediment and the way he talked. Marriage is what we have all gathered here together was was incredible it was incredible and of course Jeffrey Rush was a great match for him and really matched the level of performance every step of the way everybody was great and and you know for that alone that this movie would be worth watching but also on top of that it's a really great story it's a story that has has uh, roots in historical fact and British history uh, which I wasn't very familiar with, and, and so, uh, you know, I really liked it. It's a solid film. The script was solid. Visually, it looked great. And really, the performances were marvelous, marvelous performances. So you can't go wrong watching this movie. I highly, highly recommend you go check it out in the theaters before we lose it. A uh, lot of uh, award buzz going on with it. Now, I know it was up for a couple of Golden Globes, and I, and I believe Colin Firth did win for Best Actor. I think it's got a lot more awards coming to it, especially with the Oscars uh, just around the corner. So, 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 in terms of our grading scale, I will give King's Speech four and a half 
Matt Damon's. And that's it, guys. This is a, actually an exciting time of the year because a lot of good movies are out. So stay tuned because there's a lot more coming. Until then, this is Ronnie Cruz signing out. And remember, when you go to the movies, never miss the opening scene. And please, always throw your trash away. bevy of other uh, uh, um, uh, um, and his his and the, and the and the and every and all this uh, and everything that happened uh, you know uh, uh, it's it's his his uh, everything that that he had um, and and then all all the and and that 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 personal personal it's it's um, you know uh, it, you know it was speech impediment